one here and record this video really quick. Um, both of these type of notes for work. Um, it's a Monday. But anyway, this is not about work. This is not about my notes. And it just... I don't know. Where I'm going to go with this, I don't have notes written down or anything. But why do we doubt ourselves so much like and we can say god i trust you god i know the plans that you have for me are greater than the plans that i have for myself all this stuff but then me included now i'm talking about myself too so that's why i said we but then when the time comes for us to really operate in that faith, for us to really trust God and, and show him, you know, that we trust him, we like clam up. I mean, I know it's natural, but however, every time, and I know me, for me personally, I've tried to, I'm a person who likes order, right? I like things to be in order. I don't know what people call that, um, a type A person or whatever, but I like things to be in order and I like to be in control. God really had, and he really had to teach me, um, <laughs> like, if you're gonna trust me wholeheartedly, you can't be in control. And that's something that I had to, I had to battle with and that's something that, learn and i'm still learning because i need to relinquish we need to relinquish relinquish let go of trying to be in control of everything we have to trust god wholeheartedly like wholeheartedly and and that's the only way because we get so frustrated when things don't work out the way that we plan but we don't think about like, oh, even though we planned it that way, God has a greater plan for our lives. Sometimes we can make choices that are mediocre, that are so small and minute. We, you know, God said, I have greater for you. That's why this isn't working out. And then we get frustrated because our plans don't work out. And, you know, it just makes me think back to something i don't know where i'm going with this but something sarah jake said you know how in church and i i go to a small amy church i've been amy my whole life and i've heard obedience is greater than sacrifice obedience is greater than sacrifice sometimes sacrifice is obedience and that's that's what that that's so true sometimes sacrificing sacrificing what you want to do is obedience sacrificing your plan for god's plan is obedience sometimes he puts us in uncomfortable positions for us to grow he puts us in uncomfortable positions for us to gain skills gain knowledge gain relationships it's not your forever season it's not your forever season and so just think about it and i've been thinking about that like hmm obedience is, is greater than sacrifice however sometimes sacrifice is obedience Showing, showing God that you're willing to sacrifice your time to do what he told you to do. You're willing to sacrifice your plan to be somewhere temporarily for, you know, temporarily, even though it may seem permanent because it's frustrating you. So at that moment in time, you're like, oh my God, God, why am I here? But just think about like, why am I here, God? Holy Spirit, speak to me. Tell me why am I here? What do I need to learn in this season? What are you trying to take away from me? What are you trying to add? Who are you trying to bring into my life? Who are you trying to take out of my life? I don't know, I feel like I'm just rambling, but seriously, then I got like, staring on like, mm, on my mouth. Thank you for that. Mm, what's that, ew. I'm gonna have to edit that out. But anyways, like seriously, <laughs> I was talking to one of my um, best friends and I just see so much greatness 
and this person. And I'm not going to say he or she because if you know me, I don't have too many friends and you'll figure the person out and it's none of your business. But anyways, <laughs> this person is so awesome. This person is so amazing. They have so much talent. And I feel like, no, I know, not feel, I know they've been downplaying themselves for a long time and God has pushed them into a corner and the only and, and, and God is the only is the only way out but anyways remember trust God in all seasons of your life know that sometimes sacrifice is obedience um and we have to learn to let go of control let go of control god got your back you be feeling lost calling the holy spirit i promise you i promise you he can speak positive affirmations all day and all that stuff however and I'm not saying don't. I mean, I speak positive affirmations too. But what I'm saying is, what am I saying? I done lost my train of thought. But anyways, I speak positive affirmations all day too. But what I'm saying, just speaking it and not doing, not really having guidance from the Holy Spirit, not really seeking God's face in all that you do. I'm not saying I get it right all the time. I don't. I know God be like, girl, here you go again. He, God be like, Holy Spirit, help her, please. <laughs> but seriously, we got to take it a step further, people. Take it a step further. It may scare you. And I'm not the one to say, I, you know, we're not faking it till we're making it. We're not faking it till we're making it. We're being real, raw, and transparent. God knows who you are, knows what you need, and that's who you need to depend on. He knows what you need. Um, but yeah. Y'all. Anyways, and I'm breathing hard because I'm pregnant, but it that's neither here nor there. Anyways, I love y'all. God loves you best. And I'm out.